Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek, and today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of products. Many of you might have seen a variety of iFixit kits, and you might be unsure which one to get. For those of us that have been in the industry for a long time, it's known that the iFixit kits are fantastic. So I hope in this video to be able to go over all of the different kits so that you can see what is the right one for you. Let's get into the video. The first kit that we're going to be looking at is this little Moray Precision Kit. It's got 32 precision and larger bits for gadgets and home repairs with its magnetized driver handle, a lid that doubles as a sorting tray, and is basically pocket size so that you can take it on the go. One of the cool features of this screwdriver is the back of it pops off, revealing not only a SIM card ejector, but also three slots where you can insert three bits the more commonly used bits. Let's say you work on iPhones. You can put in here your pentalobe through those two bottom screws, your tri-wing, your Y000, and your PH000, or whichever Phillips you prefer. So all that you might even really just need to carry around is this. It's a very good starter kit, as it should cover the majority of the devices that, that you open. The next kit that I wanted to show you is the eye opener kit. It comes with a microwavable heating pad that doubles as a, that basically doubles as a portable heating plate. As long as you have a microwave available, you'll be able to heat this and it stays hot for, for quite some time and it'll allow you to individually heat up the corners of say an iPad when you're opening it. It also has the same screwdriver as the last kit where when you pop off the back, you've got your SIM ejector and three slots comes with a 2.5 flathead screw bit and your PH00, which covers a good portion of, of small gadgets and, uh, and other devices and should get you by on say an iPad. So this is an ideal kit if all you're gonna be working on is iPads. It also comes with a variety of tools such as this little plastic battery insert where it allows you to disconnect the battery without removing the entire logic board. Six guitar picks, a large suction cup, spudgers, tweezers, a plastic pry tool, and a couple plastic opening cards. A great beginning kit for opening up iPads. The next kit is going to be your Essential Electronics Tool Kit. It as well has a lid with a sorting tray, 16 precision screw bits, covering five sizes of Phillips screws, your Penelope P2 and P5, a few flathead screw bits, your T4 and T5 Torx, three Torx security bits, and your Y000 tri-point, along with a magnetized driver handle, same as in the previous kits that comes with the integrated SIM ejection tool. You've got your angled precision tweezers, like the previous kit, spudger, jimmy, opening tools, six opening picks, and a suction handle as well. Again, this kit is gonna cover the majority of the repairs that you need, but it does come with the iFixit Jimmy Pry tool, which I have enjoyed it using for years. Overall, a solid kit without getting too excessive. And probably one of my all-time favorites is the Mako bit set, which is the one that I've used for years. It's a 64-bit set, which is going to cover 99% of the repairs that you run into. It has an upgraded screwdriver that's no longer plastic, but is metal, allowing for a slightly more comfortable feel in the hand. Overall, this kit is going to provide you with all of the bits that you need to do all of the small electronic repairs that you are going to run into. So basically every single smartphone out there. And then we basically have its brother, which is the Mahi kit, which is say a, a slightly larger kit, as in the bits are larger for those larger devices. So for a computer, or a gaming console. Something with larger screws that need a little bit more torque. This has 48 bits with a very bulky metal screwdriver that allows for a lot of grip 
and torque to remove those stubborn bolts and screws in your larger devices all the way up through even things that you might be working on, say on a, on a car or a home appliance. This is a kit that you definitely want to keep at home for your, uh, your day to day repairs as if you don't have either of the last two, but you want them, a good alternative is just going to be to get the Manta set, which is a combination of the two, totaling to 112 different bits with the two different drivers, the smaller comfortable metal one that I've enjoyed using for years and the larger bulkier one that allows for those bigger and more stubborn screws. And this is the current kit that I use at home for when either my wife or four children break their devices. Whether it's fixing their phones or their toys or one of the appliances in the home, this kit has me covered. And if you wanna take all of those kits and kind of wrap them all up into one, that's where you get the ProTech Toolkit which not only does it have your standard Mako set, but it also comes with a full range of pry tools, tweezers, and spudgers, along with an ESD wrist strap. So you'll have your anti-static wrist strap, your suction handle, three opening tools, six opening picks, a nylon tip reverse tweezers, blunt and angled tweezers, your standard budger, halberd spudger, your metal spudgers, your jimmy tool, magnetic pad, and compact tool roll with the 64 bits that we've talked about. And last but not least is gonna be your large iFixit repair business toolkit, which is basically an entire repair station on the go. Now this kit is quite unique. Let's open it up. Right off the bat, we have this sleeve of permanent set screwdrivers with the long shafts for those hard to reach places with the names all printed in larger font to be able to easily grab what you need. Got our iFixit ESD prevention, our portable anti-static mat that prevents ESD damage during repairs, especially if you're working on larger devices like computers where it's much easier to cause a, an issue with the exposed logic boards the way they are. Comes with a digital multimeter, which will allow you to diagnose shorts and get your voltage readings and your continuity readings across the, across the connectors and components. A nice little pouch for our eye opener. And inside, inside that roll, we have a repair at manifesto, which is quite fun to read through. We've got a digital caliper, which is definitely something that comes in handy, especially if you ever mix up your screws. A microfiber cleaning cloth, high quality. Your screen saver spray, a very effective glass cleaner that definitely helps when applying uh, tempered glass. The eye slack. X opening tool, the whole ProTech toolkit that we just went over, two really large suction cups that definitely come in handy, and then a whole bunch of other goodies like a little blower that doubles as a stress reliever, a box cutter, an anti static brush for cleaning out those charge ports, a magnetic organizing mat, along with some captain tape and Tessa tape with a variety of guitar picks, patch, pin, and prying tools and cards, ceramic tweezers, metal tweezers, and spudgers. Definitely a solid kit, especially if you were doing any business on the go. Not only is it a handbag, but it's also set up to be a shoulder bag as well with another pocket in the back and the sides for everything else you might need to put in it with room to spare. So hopefully now having gone through these kits, you'll have a good understanding of which one is right for you. I've thoroughly enjoyed using the iFixit products over the years. You're missing out if you haven't. There will be links down below for these kits. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.